Was it about pens? No, it was about a G.I. Joe guy I didn't recognize. So you don't really know. I told him it was Damon. <laughs> <laughs> it was about a G.I. Joe guy. I've never seen that G.I. Joe guy yet. Most people haven't. Yeah, I was in the pool. It's up under the lid. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to That Checks Out with Damon and Ted. I am Ted. Sadly, he is Damon. I'm, I'm not sad. Oh, I'm sad you're here. <laughs> It wasn't your it wasn't your adjective, it was mine. I understand. I don't understand your emotion, but that's okay. I second my own emotion. <laughs> Jamin, how was your week? Uh, my Why week- are we talking like this? Yeah. <laughs> when the does it too stop? Loud. <laughs> when does it stop? Film at eleven. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, hey, real quick, even before we get started, because I know we always give the stuff at the end and this and that about where can they find us, Ted? And we do all that. But you know where you can find us right now? YouTube? It's on YouTube. Okay. We we have, we have put a channel up years ago, and we'll be brief with this. We put a channel up years ago, uh, then didn't pay any attention to it, and left it alone. <laughs> that sounds like us. Okay. So Wait, wait. That checks out. Yeah, that does check out. <laughs> so that does. The whole premise for this podcast is not following through on stuff. That checks out. So, but regardless now, we are uh, promoting and updating and we're going to have uh, more like, uh, I guess, special content that'll be yeah. on there that's not not going to be on the podcast uh, form, if you will. So if you get a chance, uh, which would be right now, be a great time. Uh, hey, Google, YouTube. Okay. <laughs> and then while you're there, uh, just look for that checks out and, and please like and subscribe. You can like the videos, but please subscribe. Uh, we need subscriptions to to grow that channel on its own. And uh, we've already had a ton of support from a lot of people, which is great. Yes, we need to thank everyone that has jumped yeah. on that. Yeah, we really do. And uh, and like I said, so please, please, please know that we have a YouTube channel and we no longer treat it like it's a stepchild and we don't like it. We do like it now. Oh, we no longer treat it like me? Yeah. <laughs> like that one dog that you got? Yeah. Yeah, it's no longer like my dog. <laughs> so, um, but by the way, the YouTube channel is doing really good at Max House for a week. So, <laughs> just like my dog. But uh, but other than that, nothing. So, anyway, my week, because you asked, I, I went with the family last weekend. We looked for something to do on Sunday after church, okay? And I found, um, I won't say the name of it, but there was a, a farm that was doing a strawberry festival. What are you, a farmer? Right. So I said, you know what? All my kids and everybody likes strawberries. Let, let's go. Well, and that was a great idea that was had by the entire state of Illinois. Okay. So it was very awesome. We got there and I was like, okay, I, yeah. Even the kids were like, uh, no. I will say this about the situation we've just kind of come out of. Yeah. Um, and I don't want to talk about, about it specifically, but it has ruined us. Yes. The fact that there was a time where you could, go, you could go places and be like, oh, there's no one here. I enjoy this. Now there's people and you're like, I don't like you. Yeah. Yeah. Go, I don't, go, could you not? Yeah, I don't understand this. I'm not. But it was it was almost do, like. Do you, do you like spread rumors while you're going through that crowd? You guys should be in your homes. Yeah. We're supposed to be in our homes. Why are you here? Yeah. I'm like the uh, the, evangel- the the danger evangelist. Yeah. I'm just walking around. Oh, the world's coming to an end. But uh, but no. So so we went to do that. And, and then we said, you know what? We're, we're not going to do this. So we, we did not. So it put us out though, like in the Geneva area. So we went and we played miniature golf. Okay. So that's supposed to be one of the things that was at the thing anyway. But again, there was a line. I've been to Disney several times. There was a Disney line. No one likes a bragger. <laughs> yeah, or Damon. But, uh, but anyway, I was like, I'm not, I'm not sitting through this. And neither were my kids. They weren't ready to do it. So we went and played miniature golf. And then we went and had the world's most expensive ice cream I've ever had because I had to remember my surroundings and where I was. And I was like, oh. Right. Things cost more here. Got it. You, you, yeah. You're up where, by where I live. So I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't live that far away. Nobody likes a bragger. So anyway, you said it already. Um, so we did that. And so we're leaving the uh, ice cream place. We're heading back home. Okay. And what was the ice cream place? I don't care if you say it. Huh? What was the ice cream place? Um, something sugar. I don't know. Something sugar in it. It was on the main, like the main street in, oh, okay. in downtown. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> I went there. We're leaving, and so I have in my GPS because I don't really know where I'm at. So I have in my in my phone, uh, which I have set like on my dash, uh, it tell it's telling me how to get home. Cool. So I'm pulling out of there, and as I'm pulling out, I can't. I'm I'm waiting for it to load because I just backed out of a spot and turned around. Gotcha. So I'm watching it load. Well, while I'm doing this, apparently I take my foot off the brake and I creep into the crosswalk. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. Well, apparently everybody here. Um, they don't own cars. They own bikes. Um, so I, I don't think I hit him because when I looked up, he was too busy giving me the finger. 
But uh, and so was his wife, who made it by unscathed. Apparently, oh, they do things together. That's yeah, sweet. yeah. Because I was looking down. Yeah. How sweet. What? So yeah. Hey, honey, what do you want to do today? I'd like to nearly get hit by a guy in a van and then give him the finger. Can we do it together? Let's go flip off Matt Foley down by the river. <laughs> yeah. can, hey, can we do this together? Is this or is this? Wait a minute. Are you just going with the guys? <laughs> you know, you never let me go flip off fat people. But. But here's the extreme Damon moment that my family witnessed inside the van. Full Damon. I was angry that he got mad at me. <laughs> How dare you, sir? And I'm like, first, I, I, I'm looking at this thing trying to go the right way because I'm not going to pull out of here and go left when I'm supposed to go right or go right when I'm supposed to go left. So I'm waiting for it to load and it's spinning. And then my kids go, dad. And I, and I, I was like, you know, you immediately, I pushed the brake, but I, I'm already on the brake. Wasn't hard enough. I was coming off the brake, apparently. So and I am I am well into I I'm I'm taking ninety two percent of this crosswalk. Pause. Yeah. Mac, uh, clip that part. Yeah. <laughs> clip that wasn't hard enough. I want a button. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what Dave was saying yeah. wasn't hard enough. Yeah. So. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Timestamp number so, two. Yeah. <laughs> Make that a whole row of buttons yeah. so I don't miss. Yeah. Why don't you just hide that in something Damon likes to push? <laughs> yeah. If it says wasn't hard enough, you believe. I will, yeah. I will love it. Anyway, okay, go ahead. So, yeah, I giggle every time it happens. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's like, you that? <laughs> yeah, but that's what it is. It's like, you hit me with that. I'm like, oh, and then that comes on. I'm like, oh, okay, I can't, I can't help it. It's literally like your Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah. <laughs> but but literally, no, I got defensive, like, come on, you know, like, I'm, 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 we got the air on, the windows are up, you know, but he's looking at me with like this this utter disdain, and he, sh- he probably should have, Yeah. but I was pissed that you had an attitude with me. <laughs> that is what, how dare you, sir? Yeah, yeah, you know, I am visiting your town, okay? You're welcome. You're welcome. But I have brought a vehicle to your backwoods, 1800s, bicycle-only town. <laughs> yes. Yes. You will worship me, sir. Amish man, you are missing your beard. I don't know why you're on a bike. Yeah, but but no, I. I uh, so that was that was my uh, my weekend, if you will, last last weekend. And then the other thing, I was at my uh, grandma's house. I was moving some stuff in the garage. She has, I don't know if you remember the, but, but the uh, well, I call it. It's like an at home homicide kit. Uh, but she has lawn jarts. Say what? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I don't. Yeah. I don't. Uh, <laughs> lawn jarts. Yeah. Are you familiar? You're familiar with those. Yeah. Mac, do you know what those are? Yeah, yeah. Now that you said that. Okay, so the reason I call it that is because. You can easily make murder look like an accident if you're playing yeah. lawn jarts. You know, uh, you could walk up and stab somebody in the head I don't, with I don't a know lawn if, jart. I don't know if you just keep saying lawn. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> where else are you using jarts? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, she's got she's got hockey rink jarts. Yeah. So for those who may be too young or don't understand what we're talking about, these are basically they're darts that you would throw. You would toss them kind of like horseshoes. They might spin end over end, or they might. If you were good enough, you could toss a spiral sometimes, and they'd then they'd stick in the ground. You'd have a circle. You have a hoop. You'd yeah. have a hoop on the other side, and and now here's the thing, it's like playing bean bags. Okay, that's but, what I was just thinking. But what's great is is they're you're throwing a metal projectile, yeah, that could pierce you. And here's the greatest thing: the guys on the other team on the other side, or, you know, that are on the other side tossing bags, if you will, are standing where they would be if someone was throwing bean bags. Yeah, you know, sometimes everyone throws that errant bag. You're like, oh, I don't know what happened there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. That, that don't play with a jart. Right. Yeah, that doesn't, that's that's not, but that, like I said, that's really, it, it, I call it a homicide kit because I could, I could walk up to you, stab you in the head with it, <laughs> lay you in the backyard, put the circle down, put another one in there like, hey, I got one bullseye, yeah. and then and then call 911 and be like, yeah, this is, because they outlawed them decades ago. This is oddly specific. Yeah. 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 This is very specific. Did yeah. you get away with a homicide years ago? Have I said it could be you? Have I said this several times? Okay. I just want to make sure. But but no, when I found that, I'm like, these are, and I don't know, maybe they're worth money now. I don't know if, if people still I, would look uh, at stuff like that. Does she have a whole set? Yes. I will pay her for them. I want some charts. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, the other thing is too, I hate to say it, like nowadays when you have, uh, like if if you have uh, somebody come in your yard and bury your cable or this or that, yeah. they don't bury well, it very deep. I don't like your euphemisms. Yeah. No, you're right. Because yeah. you know what goes to my yard? Yeah. Cable. Right. You know who's had to have people out in the yard who fix that same cable many times? Yeah. This guy. Yeah. Like from a dog digging. You're like, he didn't even go deep. You yeah. know? <laughs> so what I'm saying well, is- Well, AT- AT&T actually came out and, and broke the other fiber company's fiber. Oh, did they? That, I'm like, that seems- convenient yeah, yeah that seems uh hey by the way do you offer that service yeah. you just broke well no I, I want these jarts because i played uh bags with my 
nieces and nephews. Yeah. Just, I think they'd get a kick out of Jarts. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, look at the screen. We can't see it because it's behind us. I know. You got to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> they, they banned the sale of Jarts in 1988. Oh, I didn't know it was that long ago. 1988. Yeah, and, they've, I, and they I literally just, killed children. Yeah. Yeah. A set oh, of yeah. lawn darts. Oh, see, it says lawn darts. So if you say lawn darts or jarts, I think it's like Okay. Right. All right. So, usually includes four large darts. And two, I like it like right after response uh, for the death of two children. A set usually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think we need that information after you've murdered children. <laughs> you go on Antique Road Show yeah. and you have to wipe the blood off your lawn darts. <laughs> no, that would decrease the value. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it'd be like these cribs caused the death of, of many infants. The cribs came in and yeah. in, uh, you can in find white, them on eBay. Yeah, in, in white walnut, deep pine. Like we don't care at that point. Yeah, it murdered children. Yeah. So I didn't. I didn't know kids died, but that makes more sense because I, I'm. I guess you know they're they're lower. It falls farther from the sky. Yeah. Uh, Mac, put a pin in this. They have a comment off, <laughs> off air. I have a comment off air about this. And then uh, when we do that, I want you to timestamp it so we can put it on the board. Okay. Nope. <laughs> put it on the board. Yeah. Number yes. three. Now, <laughs> it's uh, funny you, you almost murdered a person in Geneva driving your car because a similar thing happened to me. Yeah. I recently bought a new car. And th- when I bought it, the guy traded in. It might be for this reason. Like, well, I bought it. It had 1,200 miles on it. The guy was done with it. He, okay. went, he brought it back, bought something else. And we were at the dealership purposely to buy a hybrid because I drive so much. And this is before gas went to $9,000 a gallon. Yeah. Uh, and we're like, we can't find anything. And the guy was like, hey, you never believe this. Some guy just turned in a hybrid. It's got some damage in the back uh, right bumper, which I'm surprised no one has mentioned. Like, hey, look at my brand new car. It's missing the reflector. There's a scratch in it. <laughs> no one's been like, Ted, you know there's damage back here? Like, yeah, that's how I got it. But I wonder if the guy turned in for the Because the other day I was in a parking lot, turned on my car, went to back out. There's someone standing in like the blind spot. Yeah. So I don't see them. They don't hear the car. And the sensor don't pick them up? There's no sensor. Okay. Okay. Which I didn't realize when I bought it. Which yeah. I, I don't have, I have every other safety feature. I don't have the, hey, you're going to hit something. <laughs> it's got nine different camera angles back there, but not a <laughs> boop, <laughs> right, boop. Right. So I almost hit them. And they were doing the same thing when they were angry. I'm like, did, did I hit them? I think I would have felt that, right? Or at right. least one of them be on the ground. Like, right. I couldn't tell, but I didn't want to get out of the car because I didn't want to fight. Yeah, because yeah, if you're parked on top of one right. of them, you're like, I didn't feel them. If they walk away, I'm good. <laughs> but so I'm, we, we bought it in April. We're, we're now in June. I still haven't gotten the call like, hey, the parts are in. I know there's supply of things. So I came some leeway, but like it's June. I haven't heard anything. So I go to uh, contact the guy that the, the guy that I bought it from. Phone doesn't pick up. I'm like, oh, no. So I email, bounces back. I'm like, oh, no. I go to, to uh, Google the dealership to find like a generic thing to contact. You know how hard it is to find a dealership known, known as Gerald Ford? <laughs> it's like trying to find uh, Jimmy Carter Chevy. You know what I mean? Right, like, yeah. I, wait, I yeah. literally didn't put that together when I bought it. Like, I bought this from Gerald Ford. Right. Yeah. Like, every, like, the first 175,000 uh, responses was about the president, Gerald Ford. <laughs> it's like, you got to be kidding me. Well, I went to Ronald Reagan Buick. Yeah. So I have, I probably have the same odds. So uh. <laughs> that's awesome, though. Yeah. But again, those cars. Nobody likes a bragger. I do parking lot duty at church, right? And you do. You get the people in those cars. They're coming behind you. So you're, I mean, I'm alert. I'm listening mm-hmm. to everything. You don't hear them. Yeah. Well, I can actually get, because my dog can hear uh, our Chevy. Okay. Up the block. And yeah. he goes to the front door because he knows it's coming. There's been times I pulled in the drive. I gotten out and the dog's like, Where, where'd you come from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, boom. Yeah. <laughs> Who right. won this round, dog? Right. Right. <laughs> Because it's so quiet. It's, it's creepy. Like, when I first started driving it, I'd be like, is this on? Yeah. And I'm driving it. I'm, like, I'm moving. I'm like, is this on? How well, am I doing said, this? He likes to sit in the one window in the front. You yeah. should just pull right up in your yard, right next to it, <laughs> and be like, yeah, oh, this is what we're doing Make passes. Just like, pop right up. Wait a minute. Was was that dad? Yeah. Was that was that dad in the car? Pull up, pop the hood. That You know, I wonder if you would be... Well, you'd be inevitably you'd be responsible because you ran somebody over. <laughs> yeah, but, well, I wonder uh, what if you clear in the clear. Is that is that on Honda for not making it loud enough? Yeah. Well, the other thing I hate to say it is when I walk in, when I walk through parking lots, uh, I look. I don't necessarily First, listen yeah. for cars running. I look for backup lights and brake lights. I'm also not hugging the wall like yeah. I'm you know like I'm trying to avoid the rain. Like right. this person was right up on my car. Yeah. yeah. Like if they would have been even one foot off the car, I would have seen them. Yeah. They were like like adhered to my car for some yeah, reason. Like they're leaning out and talking. Yeah. <laughs> they're probably they're probably bent down and be like, this guy know he's missing a reflector down here? Yeah. <laughs> this is like a new Bam! car. <laughs> right in the face. This is like a new car. 
<laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, I still think you'd be guilty. Yeah, <laughs> so probably. Just, I, I still think you'd be probably. guilty. But it was just funny. That like, what happened to your week? Oh, I was murdered first. What happened to your week? Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> this was my week to murder somebody. <laughs> we, we Stop are, copying me. We are so in tune with each other. It's great. <laughs> no, I'm thinking the word you're looking for is gross. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's weird? It probably is. It yeah. really probably is. <laughs> we, and uh, this is, this is, I'm going to give you almost no information on this, folks. But yesterday we hung out because we're working on a secret project. And that's all I'm going to say because that, I'm just trying to build excitement. Yes. Yeah, we are. We're uh, a secret project that will be coming to YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, by one of our, our collaborators. Yes. Who works with us on the show. He actually did our music for our intro and outro stuff. Uh, Healy's house. Not Mac. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so if you want to record a podcast, you come here. Yeah. If you want to record music or have something uh, composed for you as far as like a a, a, a beat or, or, or music or stuff like that, you would go to Healy's house. Yes. Yeah. Damon so, and I were literally trying to count out the measure to figure it out. And Dan's like, hold on, I'm going to change it up real quick. <laughs> totally re- rewrites the song. And we're like, okay, yeah, that's better. Yeah, no, that's, we get, that's now, now we get it. Now we get it. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. It's pretty crazy. Like, I'm going to rewrite it so you guys can figure it out. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Could you do yeah, that? Yeah. And then could you tell us how many seconds we yeah. have? And, <laughs> and a one like, and a two. He, he actually did that. He's like, would you like, like me to write how long your seconds yeah, your he, verses he, are? Look, he had an iPad <laughs> facing the mic. If yeah. he could have just had a green light go, oh, no. Yeah. You go. <laughs> And go. Yeah. Now, Mac, I heard you laugh out there. I can read music. Yeah. F- but f- I, I'm a visual person. Like, counting it down in my head, I don't know. I just it yeah. was just like, wait, do I come in now? Well, I feel like it was so the Wayne's World no where we're like, one, yeah. four, three, two, one. You know, and we're doing that, like, you know, out loud. It's like, okay, the mic's on. It's hot. Stop yeah. doing that, you know? <laughs> but uh, but no. He's we- literally like, yeah, I put in this uh, this uh, snare so you guys can tell where you come in. Yeah. It comes at the end. It comes at the, it comes at the beginning. It comes at the end. You're going to be in the middle. Yeah. When you hear, you know, Damon, you know your favorite part? Yeah. Uh, when you hear that, that starts the chorus. I think we've been, <laughs> I think we've given a lot more clues than we originally yeah. wanted to. Yeah. Cut but, that, uh, cut that. Yeah. Cut that. <laughs> Timestamp. This is awesome. But anyway, that is coming straight to YouTube. Yeah. And so, so if I feel like, it seems like I'm in a mood, I've been with Damon for almost 24 hours now. Hey, and if I could, if I could use one compound word, <gasps> sleepover. Yeah, we had a sleepover. Last nice. Night. Yeah. So we haven't had that since like, uh, Middle school. Mac, we went to <laughs> we went to a restaurant on the way to dance, so we would, you know, be well fed and and sustained by the time we got there. It was a bar. It was a bar and grill. At five o'clock. Yeah. That nice. had maybe fifteen people in it. That could probably hold, you know, easily close to a hundred. It oh, yeah. It's a big place. Yeah. Fifteen people in it. They had the music set to ear bleed. Yeah. Nice. And everybody was our age or older. And yeah. it was like Katy Perry. What was this place? And, uh, uh we're not gonna say the name. Yeah. But, uh, but we'll, a, we'll tell you after the show. Yeah, we'll tell you after the show. All right. But well, we were, text it to me. Yeah. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right, right now, so I say. He puts but it on the screen. Yeah. We're, <laughs> no. We're sitting just like this people, is a totally unrelated Google search. <laughs> yeah. People will be able to see this because we're on YouTube now. We were sitting this close to each other at the table. Yeah. The waitress is standing like right next to us, and we're like, I'll have an iced tea. <laughs> and, and inevitably, when I go to order, the music's between songs. So I'm screaming oh. at this lady at the top of my lungs, and the music stops. And everybody's like, what's that guy's problem? Well, the you best know? part is like, we're doing that. And she's like, what? I'm like, yeah. oh, my God, I got to go louder? Yeah. Yeah. Meg, we're, we're at Dan's. He's playing it. He's, he's jamming it. We're in his house. He's playing it. Damon goes to talk literally right as it drops out. And he's like, Dan! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we were like, hey, dude, the music's off. He's like, it wasn't when I started talking. Yeah. But at one point, we're about, all right, you guys can figure out. We're recording something. We got our headphones on. Dan says, make sure your phones are off or on vibrate. <laughs> no, he didn't say, did he say on vibrate? Because I didn't yes, know that Yes, he did. Okay. Well, you had already stopped listening at that point. Yeah. But Damon's like looking around like he can't figure out how to turn his headphones down. Yeah. I'm like, and I'm like, yeah, I got to get mine. He looks at me like, how does this guy figure out how to work Dan's <laughs> equipment? <laughs> he doesn't say that because he's on his face like, how do I know? Yeah. And he, finally, Damon, like, literally, to his credit, owns up that he doesn't know. He's like, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how to turn I, his I don't headphones turn down. down. <laughs> and both Dan at the same time were like, no, your cell phone. Make sure your <laughs> cell phone is off. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I got okay. it. Yeah, yeah I, I can do that. I can do that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> just looking around like, I don't know how to turn it down. <laughs> well, because you don't. Oh, it's, man. It's like, I bet, I bet a dance way more than Ted has. I bet yeah. a dance. So it's like, how do I not know how to do this? And this guy's got to figure it out in like three seconds. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I already got it. And he's like, technology boy is really pissing me off today. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was bad. But then they're like, they're both like simultaneously like, your cell phone. Your genius, cell phone. Or whatever they're doing. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, I can do that right now. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, me, I got that. Me, I know that, that. I can control that. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know what's funny? So what's funny is, is, is the first time I went in when he was doing, did, like, 
creating stuff and doing that. Uh, now, mind you, he's got a board. He's doing everything he's doing. I put my phone on vibrate. And when he was t- like, when he was doing it, I didn't talk and I'm just watching. And he, and, and, and he looks at me and I go, what? I go, well, I don't, you're recording right now. He goes, I don't have a live mic. <laughs> That's what he tells me. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm so, I've been stupid in his place twice in a row. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. He's just, put, he's just like layering samples and you're like, I can't talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't talk. Or like, I get up real quiet to go to the bathroom. Like, okay. I'll shut the door real quiet. What, you know? What if this door hears me? Yeah. <laughs> But he's like, I don't have a live mic. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess you To be don't. fair, yeah. uh, uh, to save you a little bit of face for you, when yeah. I stepped out and I came back, I'm walking through and his house creaks a little bit. I'm like, oh, this isn't good for someone who's trying to record. Yeah. <laughs> you, you guys weren't doing anything. Yeah. But uh, but no, like I said, we have, uh, we have a project coming. Uh, honestly, from when you hear this, it's still going to be weeks because this is, we're going to make it perfect and fun and uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good time. So, so never. Yeah. You'll never yeah. see that. <laughs> so, so yeah. Pay attention and go to the YouTube. Um, how about a couple mind blowing facts? All right, okay. Let's do a couple mind blowing facts. Uh, I have a couple that that revolve around the same topic. Uh, in 1988, a French woman they, they banned uh, lawn darts. <laughs> they did French woman. I already, bought, we already read that. What do you French woman bought the last of the lawn darts? Right. <laughs> so uh, I, I was calling them lawn jarts. That's like a double on time. I didn't need to do that. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's jarts or yeah. lawn darts. Gotcha. Either way, it's an at home homicide kit. Yeah. All right, that's what it is. Uh, in 1988, a French woman studied for months so she could learn how to fly a helicopter. Then she rented one, flew over a prison, grabbed her husband, and robbed a bank from the prison's roof. Oh, grabbed her husband that robbed a bank. Sorry. So she's <laughs> like, well, well yeah. there's a bank in yeah, the prison? Yeah, there's a bank on the prison roof? That seems like a weird <laughs> yeah. place. There's a lot of bad guys yeah. in there. That's a weird place to put a bank. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So no, so again, just have those pneumatic tubes. I don't off know the how to work cell phones. Phoom. I don't know when to be quiet when there's not a hot mic, and I don't know how to read. We've picked out all my problems. Yeah. Okay, um, hey, uh, I'm not I'm not Nancy Drew, Mac, but I think you've done something to the board. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> anal seepage. <laughs> Why'd you hit that twice? <laughs> Did I ever say anal seepage? Apparently, because it's on the board. Wow, has that been a thing on the podcast? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. They, guy- listen, what do you have a secret? Like we shouldn't be touching these buttons. <laughs> Board behind this board? It is faded to time. Correct. We do not train to be merciful here. <laughs> what, what that? <laughs> you have Mr. Miyagi? Right? Yeah. All right, I feel yeah. like we're cutting all this. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Start your story over again. Timestamp. Uh, so basically, this French woman, went after she studied to fly the helicopter, okay, she then rented one and went and broke her husband out of prison. She flew over the prison, broke him out, uh, and because he was, like, on the prison roof. He somehow got up there. Um, I feel like there's quite a paper trail here. Yeah. Like you're not hiding this. Right. Right. And again, I hate to say it. You're in a helicopter. It's over. You're going somewhere in that helicopter. Right. We just need, really need to track that helicopter. Yeah. And when you land, unless you're both parachuting out of this helicopter, in which case, please don't jump up when you leave the helicopter because that's going to get tragic. You can see the people at the airport like there's nothing southwest of here except. A- <laughs> right. Dang it. She she logs her coordinates. And it's like, why are you circling the prison? Yeah. That seems so odd. You know? It's so Isn't weird. She... Oh no. <laughs> Not another one. Right. It's the fourth. It's the fourth. It's, it's on their waiver when you sign yeah. up to fly the helicopter. Yeah. Uh you have to be like, uh, I am 21. Uh, I can do this. I can yeah. do that. I will not come drunk. Uh, I will not uh, fly over the prison and break someone out. You know what I mean? It's like that. Why did you just see the Department of Corrections march over to the neighboring airport and go like, hey, guys. Can He's you up can, helicopters. Yeah. Can you relocate? <laughs> we got a whole building. You just got a field here. Can we not, yeah. can we not do this? Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is weird. You guys. No more helicopters, no hot air balloons, yeah. <laughs> no, do you, no anything that's stationary. Do you guys know even know the concept of a no-fly zone? Yeah. <laughs> do you not understand that? Right. What are you teaching these people? It's a rental. You don't it's obey it's, the rules yeah. in a rental. <laughs> no, I got to go back to the keys. <laughs> helicopters have keys, right? right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, like Enterprise. I, I want the full insurance, yeah. and I just have to bring you the keys. If they're smart, they just make a spare set of keys and drop those out <laughs> right? from, like, you know. Yeah. Here you go. 3,000 feet. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But no, that I think that's awesome that this this woman went to all the trouble. She's like, I'm going to learn this. I got this. I mastered this. Because, you know, you got to be pretty good to be stationary and let somebody get on. Right. You know, I bet you're not landing on a roof. You're, but you're, you're, you got to hover close to it. Yeah. You I feel be, like that's a case for Magnum PI. 
Because he's got that helicopter already. Yeah, <laughs> <Just> Jason. <laughs> That's what, like the funny. Like they they did that, and like you're on an island. They're not going anywhere anyway. You can just get them with a car, right? <laughs> you know, what I mean? right? How far could they have gotten on the island? Yeah, like I get it. It's not like a tiny island, but still, it's an island. Yeah. Yeah, it's an island. He, like, the good thing is we've yeah. secured the perimeter. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we've secured it. Like, you know, after like episode six, like, man, we really pigeonholed us with that damn helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or or when the when we had a couple uh when we talked about what discussion island, you know, you, you got the you got the Chevette with the snorkel. <laughs> You're like, I knew that was gonna come in handy one day. <laughs> they call that Chekhov's Chevette. Yeah. <laughs> if you put it on the island, you're eventually gonna need it. You're eventually gonna need it. Um, so I, I the next strange story is is also prison related. Uh, in Germany, <laughs> so now that, remember, this is a French lady. Had this yeah. been German, this would have been great. Nine! Yeah, nine times she tried. Uh, in Germany, escaping prison is not punishable by law. The desire to escape is considered human nature, and inmates will not be punished if they successfully do so. Well, I feel like then public urination shouldn't be a... <laughs> <guess it's, laughs> it's just, it's by nature. I gotta pee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but imagine, so... What they don't tell you here is you're still going to go back and finish your sentence. Yeah. Okay. You, just, you don't get extra time. You just don't get extra time. I mean, that's the way I'm reading this. So because, this sounds just like a really dystopian it, escape room. Yeah. I mean, because yeah, otherwise yeah. it's like, look, if you get out, kudos on you. Yeah. You know, and you got you got people like like Charles Manson walking out of prison. So because he's good at puzzles. If you're really good, couldn't you just like get out, live your adult life, and then when you're like almost ready for like final care anyway, like yeah, I'll just go back. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna need round the clock care. I know where to get that. Yeah, oddly enough, I still got. I guess still got five to ten. I got a room. That's, no, I got, it's kind of sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I got a room. I got. I I know where to go. You know, but that would be that'd be so great though. It's just like you're right. It's the world's uh, largest escape room. Yeah, that's all it is. Right. So if you find a way, and even the guard, they're outside. They're like, ha ha! Congratulations! <laughs> yeah. I can't do anything. Yeah. yeah, I can't do anything to you. So, but but, it's like the prison boards in Germany, like it was destined by God. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot stop them. Yeah. <laughs> That's when the guard outside is like, "We'll get you on the next murder. It's yeah. all good, you know." <laughs> you may have won this one, <laughs> but I know you're going to kill again. We'll see you back here. So, but you ever watch some prison shows? That's what most guards do anyway. They t- they tell the people when they leave, they're like, "Oh, we'll see you again in six months." Mm-hmm. And a lot of times they do. So you know, it is yeah. it is uh it is true. Did um, you see those? I think it was Sweden put. Pictures of, it was either like Norway or Sweden, but pictures of prisons, and it literally looked like a um, efficiency apartment in a nice. No, like, really, yeah, yeah, because they don't they believe more in re- rehabilitation, than rehabilitation, they do, than right, they do. than punishment. Yeah, and there's yeah. a lot of people like millenniums, like, uh, can I can I get a residence in Sweden? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. please, I'll, I'll go to prison there. Yeah, sure, yeah, <laughs> because they literally have like desks and plants and everything. It was you know, yeah, like the studio. Yeah, looked kind of like the room you're in right now. Yeah, yeah, well, nicer, yeah. but. <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> there's, there's no bed in here, Mac. No talking proper from a, cable. Management. Talking from a guy who slept on the couch last night. Yeah, my couch sleepover. Okay, so uh, the last one we're doing uh, in 2011. This this one's odd. In 2011, when Howard Snitzer, a 54 year old, had a heart attack at a grocery store in rural Minnesota. So keep that in mind, rural Minnesota. 20 people <clears throat> lined up to perform CPR on him. For 96 minutes until paramedics arrived, he survived. That, so I immediately go to like the scene in airplane where they're all lined right, up to, right. you know, to, to have, have a shot at the guy. But CPR is not, uh, it's not easy to to do right. that, especially, and you're already stressed because you're under those <clears throat> situations, yeah. you know, so I get it. But for 20 people to line up and be like, okay, I'm next. Well, like, Oofta, I got it. Okay, yeah. you're next. <laughs> yeah. But and he was fifty four years old, so you got to figure. I mean, you, but you're in rural Minnesota. Yeah, did everyone in that town know? Like, yeah, CPR. It yeah. seems like that's everyone in that town. <laughs> no, just, they, there's like one guy that's just like sneaking out. I'll, I'll just get my Pringles later. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to Ooh, do that. This is awkward. You know what's or, weird? Or there's a guy like in the middle of the line that's like, I just gotta fake it, right? Yeah, <laughs> just gotta just gotta fake it. I'm gonna go twentieth. Yeah. I will find out. What, yeah. Okay, okay. So he used that technique. All right, all right. He all runs right. over the stationery. I grabs a pen and He's a notebook. Got a notepad. Yeah. I'll pay for it on the way out. I'm trying to save this guy's life. Calm yeah, down. Yeah. Relax. All right. Push, 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 breathe. Got it? Push, 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 breathe. Got it? Push. He gets there and he's like, breathe, push. No! Yeah. I always test wrong. I'm a terrible test taker. 
<laughs> he's like, but I watched the first guy do it. So when do you kiss him? Yeah. <laughs> when does that happen? <laughs> Minnesota is really nice. I guarantee that happened around here. That's be like, can you can you kick this guy out of the way? Right. Yeah. He's in the fourteen items or less. Could we move him? <laughs> he's in the self checkout. Yeah. <laughs> There's no cashiers there. <laughs> oh, oh man. You know who would be safe? The one cashier, if they had a heart attack, because no one wants to self check yeah. out. So you would have everybody lined up to save that cashier. Now, when she's saved, they don't want her to leave in an ambulance. Yeah. You need to go back on shift because we need to bring up. Yeah, when's your replacement come in? Yeah, we have frozen food here. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. I have frozen. Yeah. Can well, we? Can you get off the floor and open your eyes? I never realized uh, though when you go to a place, a grocery store, if you have a cart full of stuff and say you can't pay for it or something happens or this or that. All, all, like all that stuff is anything that's cold or frozen. It's pretty much it's it's perished. It's gone. Now they have some some places have a freezer fridge at the front for that kind of take. So they just slide the whole cart in there. Yeah. Well, they, I assume they sort, but yeah. yeah, most of the time, yeah, that you're done with that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at the same time, you'll walk around, you, you'll find like a steak sitting on the Coke Zero, and you're like, "Ooh, choices have been made." <laughs> right. Like, ooh, do I want two cases of this? You know, stomach burning <laughs> yeah. drink or one steak? Ah, I guess I'll. Yeah. <laughs> Well, right now they're about the same price. Yeah, that's, so that's oh, yeah, what it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's about the same price. But no, I thought I thought uh, both both the prison ones were good. But again, to have twenty people come to your because you're in a, a grocery store in rural Minnesota, I bet you there's twenty people in the whole store. Yeah, I mean the town we grew up in. If you go in a grocery store, if there's twenty people in there, it's because people work. There. I was at eight of you're, them. Are, eight of them are, are working. Yeah, sure. they're employees. You're you're adding up everybody. Um, and again, that's not picking. That's just, that's where you live. That's a small town. It, it is what it is. It, it's, it's funny you talk about the self check. I think I was going, I got some prescriptions the other day on the way to work and I got to work and I put my drink on. I'm like, Oh, do you like Mountain Dew? Like, not really, but every <laughs> other freezer was empty. Refrigerator was empty at the front. I wanted a beverage. I, yeah. wanted, I didn't want coffee. I wanted some caffeine. It was this, uh, Baja blast Mountain Dew zero or nothing. Yeah. And they're like, oh, okay. I just wanted to know if you've ever tried the Flaming Hot Mountain Dew. Then just ask me that question. Yeah. Why do I need a whole background? Yeah, hold on, let me get my Mountain Dew CV out. And we'll go through my, like, history <laughs> he's, of. He's qualifying you for questions. Like, I don't want to waste the Flaming Hot question on this guy if he doesn't even like yeah. Mountain Dew. Why did we go down to the Mountain Dew route? Why yeah. did we just go down, like, do you like Flaming Hot stuff? Yeah. Have you ever tried the. <laughs> but you know what, though? That If that was me, be, you ever had Flaming? No, I drink Mountain Dew. You yeah, know yeah I mean? that would be like you the other way. <laughs> Whichever road you come down to this question, I'm going to take the other road. Yeah. 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 We were, uh, so we we're talking in the car on the way in this morning. And we were talking about uh, one time we went past a school and Ted said it reminded him of when we went to, we drove through Sandusky, Ohio, going somewhere. Yeah, this okay? is going back to like episode one. Yeah. This is a long time ago, but we dr we drive through Sandusky, Ohio. I have on my Callahan auto parts shirt. Okay. That I have from the movie, Tommy boy. That's where it was staged and everything like that. So, and it says Sandusky, Ohio under it. I'm wearing it. We're driving through Sandusky. Well, guess what we're doing? We're going to find the population sign that was in the movie. Okay. That's a good question. Let's pause here. Can yeah. anyone not from Illinois or from the southwestern suburbs of Chicago, Illinois, tell us if your town has a sign on the outside of it that says either welcome to this town or this town population this. Right. Or founded this or there or like anything. Some small towns are like known that for, designates you're in yeah, the town yeah, now. Yeah. Known for state football champions this year, this year. Yeah. You, you have a sign. So anyway, we're looking for this sign. I, we literally pull over several times. And, and I'm going in places and I'm like, hey, so where's the sign for your town? And people look at me like I am beyond stupid. Like, what do you? Yeah, you the know? first time you popped in, I didn't even get out of the car. You went in, you came out and you're like, I had a great conversation with that guy. He had no idea what I was talking <laughs> about. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, fast forward, we end up, we're in town. Now it's starting to get dark. Yeah, it's a little <clears> dusk. <throat> it's a little sand dusky now. Yeah. So we're losing our photo opportunity. So. Uh, I go, screw it. Let's just go back to the high school where it says, you know. I'd, I'd asked him like 45 minutes earlier. Hey, there's a high school. No, no, no. We're going to find that sign. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then you're even asking people, where's the main road in and main road out? Well, you're on it right here. You yeah. know, and then. We, yeah. Uh, suddenly, Ohio is now in Kentucky. Yeah. We we drove <laughs> to the end of every street that came in and out of this town. <laughs> ain't nary a sign out yeah, there. Ain't a sign. <laughs> so, so I go ahead and take the picture. Well, the, the school reminded him of that. Well, that reminded me of the story when I had the shirt on. We're at Portillo's and the lady looks at me and she goes, oh, Sandusky, Ohio. And she goes, she goes, that's a great town or something like that. And then she said, have you ever been to Cedar Point, Point yeah. Cedar Point, uh, 
park. It's a, a, a I don't know if it's, it's the most famous amusement park <clears throat> outside of like Disney yeah. or so Universal. So amusement yeah. park. You ever been to Cedar yeah. Point? I said no. No, I, I've never been there. And she goes, and you live in Sandusky, Ohio? I go, yes, I do. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> I go, yes, I do. Now, mind you, all the younger uh, cooks and chefs and people behind them that are doing stuff, uh, they are laughing because not only does she not know, now I'm taking this a step farther. Yes. Because I'm like, yes, yes, I do. I do live there. And she's like, but you've never been to Cedar Point? I'm like, no, no, I haven't. Uh, and yeah, and I'm just standing there, like, t- not interrupting, not anything. Just yeah. like, just like a mo- nodding along. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All this checks out. He's just enjoying the show. You know, that checks out. And uh, and it was it was hysterical. But we moved down the row, and the guy, like, the the one, sh- I'll call him a chef, but the cook, whatever, he comes up, and he, he says, he says, I don't know why she didn't know that like that. Yeah. And I was like, okay, good. Cause I saw everybody laughing and I'm like, you know, and, and it was just fun that we played along, but it just reminded me of that when he said that story, because that's what we do everywhere we go. Yeah. I mean, just last week we stopped at Skechers yes. and they were like, we walked in they're like, Hey, socks are buy one, get one, uh, get one free. And I was like, okay, well, what if I just want one sock? Can I just have the free one? Yeah. And she's like, no, if you buy a, if you buy a sock, you get another one free. And I'm like, I don't think you understand. You're talking pairs. I'm talking individual socks. It's, yeah. yeah. I will take two free socks I just, I just, and, yeah. and, and buy zero. Right. Yeah, I will. I will. Take and then I was holding up like shoes. Do you have this in a men's 17? Yeah, she's like, in like the kids section. She's like, uh, no. I'm like, okay, I fine. A women's 19. Do you have it in a women's yeah. 19? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said, yeah. remember? Yeah. He's asking for me. Uh, and he goes, he goes, do you have this? Do you have this in a, in a men's like 17 like that? And I go, and she goes, no. And I go, how about, how about like a women's 19? Huh? And she just, I mean, she, if rolling your eyes made a sound. Yeah. It yeah. would have been so loud in that room. Yeah. And, and the reason. Oh, we- yeah. And I'm over in the, like, I'm actually looking at shoes at one point. And they're like, uh, do you need anything else? They're the cash wrap. Damon, <laughs> Damon and Nicole were there. And th- he's like, no, but can you speed it up so that we can get out before this guy realizes we're gone? <laughs> and then I go, he's your problem now. <laughs> <laughs> but but w- what's yeah. weird is, is people, that makes people smile. Yeah. To it- be fair, there was only one other customer in the whole store. So it wasn't like we were interrupting yeah. them or doing anything. Yeah. And then we were playing around with the one customer. The one customer left her purse and she rolled back over on it. And she was like, oh, I, I wanted to grab that real quick. And Damon's like, oh man, I'm just about to rifle through that. Can you bring it back? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you didn't have any cash. Just in case you're wondering, yeah. there's no cash in that. And she tells me, she goes, there was no money in there. I said, okay. Now? And that's what I said. I said, you know, that's what happens when people take my stuff. They put a couple bucks in. They're like, I feel bad for this guy, <laughs> you know? And the lady's just laughing. But it's like, that's what we do when we go out places. That's the kind of stuff, too. I hate to say it. We're going to be taking videos of and doing stuff. That's the kind of stuff we're going to put on YouTube. So we're, we've made full circle to be like, this is the things, these are the things that you're going to see on the YouTube channel. Yeah. Like, you know, we, that's the purpose of it. We went to uh, breakfast this morning because we were so disappointed in, in, yeah, in, in the dinner, dinner last night. night. Correct. Yes. 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 We told you about them at Mac. Don't sign my, yeah. Yeah. my headphones. <laughs> but the lady was like, are you guys done? Because we neither one of us finished the whole thing. And I was like, yeah, by looking at us, you're surprised we left it, right? Yeah. She and she was... literally laughed at that. And I was like, ooh, is that a, at me or with yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. We didn't tip you yet. Yeah. You might want to refrain from that. Because it wasn't laughter. like a, yeah, it, it was more like a, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Not a, oh, that's funny. It was like, no, yeah, yeah, you're right. You nailed what I was thinking. Now, here's the deal. These she fatties are going to clean the plate. <laughs> she would have got tipped <laughs> immensely if we had said like, yeah, by looking at us, she goes, that checks out. We'd have been yeah. like, yes. <laughs> But you know no. what it was? We were sitting on the wrong side. Like <laughs> on the banner and should, business card. I, sit over there. Yeah, I do recognize. realize that we now sit in this new studio. We now sit on the wrong side. Because now yeah. I'm on the Damon side. Yeah, we're And opposite. you're on the Ted side. Well, enjoy you're being on the good side. Yeah, enjoy being Damon. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> was that breakfast? It was, it was, breakfast it was either one. It was gross. Right. Um, but uh, but yeah, that that's what that's what we do. So again. You want to see that stuff. We want you to see that stuff. And, and hopefully we come to where you are occasionally and, and do do that stuff because it, it is fun and it breaks up your day. I love when people can make us and, laugh and, and it's funny. For those people that cringe on this, we do read the room. Like if we can tell people aren't going to met. Like oh, like last yeah. night, we didn't mess with the waitress because we really would have had to scream at her. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, and it was not the place for it. Yeah. When I'm, when I'm uh, yelling my what I believe to be entertainment or funny yeah, do, at you at my loudest yeah. volume. That's probably not what it is, what it right. appears to me. So yeah, we didn't do that. Um, so let's get into a strange story, which we do that on this podcast. Wait, what? This is strange stories with Damon and Ted. Ma, there's no more deviled eggs on the roof. I remember it all really in this time. Yay. Nice. Nice. Macaulay. That's a full play. All right. So we'll see you again in two months when we do it again. Yeah. When, uh, I, when, <laughs> I, re- when I remember again, yeah. you're good. When we're not talking over it. Um, so the first, the first title, we got two of them. Uh, the first title, Australian woman wakes up from surgery with an Irish accent. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, this really got me because the, the first paragraph is she's been diagnosed with foreign accent syndrome. Have you ever heard of this? I feel like you think you have it. <laughs> I feel like so. Oh, look, 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 you should see how bright his face got. I know. <gasps> I know. I know. I, so when I read the title, I'm like, oh, could I have a surgery and wake up and be like my, no. my, my parrot? That would be great. Hey, man. You know what be funny is they found, surgery, out, man. they found out later is that she never was Australian. She had broken her husband out of an Irish prison with a helicopter yeah, right. in France. Yeah. And this was her cover story. <laughs> right. Right. Um, so it says there have been there have only been a hundred cases of this diagnosis. So a hundred cases, how does it have a, a name? Yeah. When they got a hundred cases, this should still be something random, like, oh, that's odd. It shouldn't be like, yeah. hey, we have a terminology for this. And that's since 1907. Uh that's a long time to, yeah. to be like, yeah, you know, this is a thing. We I bet there's research money put towards maybe, maybe this. there's more, and they just it's so rare they didn't know they didn't know. Yeah. Between like <laughs> Between 1907 and when the world really got smaller with communication, yeah. people just didn't know. Like, do we even look this up? Nah, this can't be a <laughs> yeah. this can't be a thing. So, but it says Angie happens to be one of them. Uh, <clears throat> it's thought to be due to a brain injury of some sort, but no one really understands why it happens or how it can be fixed or if it can. Um, and it, in her quotes, it says, "I woke up with an Irish accent the day before and thought I was going to wake up from this weird dream." She said one of her videos on TikTok. Oh, she's on TikTok now making money on this. So that's good. Um, but she's been documenting her experience. And it says, uh, but no, my Aussie accent is gone. And so the second and second headline says, no, she's never been to Ireland. So it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. I've never been certain places. And I do the crappiest, yeah, uh, well, you know, yeah. voices you could ever imagine. And I could be like, yeah, you know, I, I oh, I had a surgery. And that went, what'd you have? I had my tonsils. Was she on. watching like? Like a Brit box before yeah. she had the surgery. Yeah. She fell asleep watching Netflix and she was yeah. in the British section. Yeah. Um, but it says, uh, this is one of, uh, this is one of those Madonna situations where Angie's just picked up a new accent because she spent a bit of time in another country. No, that's not the case. She's actually never set foot in Ireland or had any, uh, inkling of an Irish accent prior to her surgery. Yeah. I woke up this morning and I was speaking with Aussie accent, la la. Um, but <laughs> she said day two following her operation, uh, during, during a phone call, but with, with, uh, five to 10 minutes, she could see deterioration of my accent back to Irish. So she, she thought on day two, she woke up and it was normal. Yeah. And so then all of a sudden, as she's talking, she gets five, 10 minutes into a conversation and she, all well, of a sudden she's I, Irish again. I guess that's what's weird because I know that you can't, you can change your way your voice sounds. Yeah. Like, yeah. is she forced into uh, this? Yeah. Is she, is she faking it? Is she like, Hey, I've always wanted to be an actress. Now I'm on TikTok pretending to be. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Is she, well, is she thing is this? like, yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, I don't know what to do. This is something that's very uh, that's very different. Uh, oh, I'm not even trying. I'm completely freaked out. I thought I thought it was going to go away when I woke up this morning. So she tried to seek medical help. Uh, yes, I know I need medical attention and to see doctors, but it's a struggle to even find the right person to look at me. Yeah, because there's been a hundred cases right. in over a decade, and almost a decade and a half. Hey everyone, while we're aware that 1907 to 2022 is more than a century and not a decade or a decade and a half, we let Damon have this one because he gets defensive when challenged, especially in crosswalks. Feel free to laugh at or even judge the amount of knowledge that he has managed to acquire in his 46 years of existence. And now, back to that checks out. There's one wizened old band in a doctor's office, I was like, finally. <laughs> finally, this, this research has paid off. <laughs> His side outside yeah. PhD and like the accent, right. whatever it is, syndrome. Right. That's his. That's what he's. He specialized. He's been waiting. He blows the dust off the tools. You yeah. know, we're gonna get in there. No, I could you sanitize those another way? Right. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> it's like it's like being in a horror movie, you know. Uh, but she's reached out. That's to a great see- thing. She went to like a doctor, not like that person, but like yeah. a doctor. And the the thing, he, the doctor was just like, don't. Yeah. <laughs> just just don't like don't. <laughs> Or, or if that doctor had an Irish accent and really thought she was mocking him, right. <laughs> and he, he just takes a total turn. Or he's writing in her chart: uh, "Patient is unruly," you know, yeah. just all this stuff. <laughs> I don't care oh. if we have universal health care down here. Charge her, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> Charge There's her. a copay for this one. Yeah, uh, it's for my emotional. This is yeah. This trauma. wasn't medical. This was a prank. <laughs> yeah. Um. So the the last one says some people think Angie is faking it. But she insists that's not the case. Well, that, this is the one where you can't, like, you know what I mean? You can't prove a negative. Yeah. I, I swear I'm not making, I'm not doing this on purpose. Uh, 
it feels so much like you are. Yeah. Yeah. But it, so, so the paragraph says, it says, in fact, she wants her old accent returned. Unfortunately, it's not fake. I bloody damn hope that my Aussie accent is coming through as it's what I've had for the last 20 years. She said, fingers crossed, uh, fingers crossed. She'll be able to get her voice back. Can she just do an Aussie accent? Well, that's my other thing. So if you know what that is, why don't you do that? I mean, it'll have a, a hint of Irish to it. I yeah. get it. But why don't you just go back to that? And then maybe your brain will train back to right. be like, this is how we talk. You know, instead, you'd rather go on TikTok and make videos yeah. and be like, oh, I have 75,000 followers that are, are entertained by my weird voice. Yeah. You know, day 363. Oh, it didn't happen again. Yeah. <laughs> Still Irish. Dang. <laughs> But it's it's all closed caption with music playing. Right. You don't even talk. You're like, I don't even get to hear the voice. Where's the voice? I think you're faking it. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what's weird. So like you work at a, a Chick-fil-A in Australia <laughs> and you pull up to the drive through and you order. When you get up to the window, you're like, oh, that wasn't Irish. Yeah. You know, there she is. That was not Irish. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, um, she's just selling really like a culturally offensive merch. Like <laughs> put another Guinness on the Barbie. Just mix of the yeah, two. Yeah. That's so awesome. Like it's, Aaron go, Aaron go down under. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, like, wait a minute. This feels, this doesn't feel right. It's, it's not fake. You say it doesn't feel right. Like, like a leprechaun surfing the reef down there. Like, no, no, don't like it. No. <laughs> Kangaroos with a yeah. hat on and an Irish yeah. beard. Right. <laughs> what, what is that? That's uh, that's my mascot. Yeah, that, my personal. That's, that's me. Right? Mascot. That's that's me. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> so, so would it be instead of kangaroo? Would it be kangaroo? <laughs> uh, yeah, kangaroo. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> it was uh, terrible, but I had to say it. Yeah, you go Did to you the just get that, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that as soon as I heard her come in late. I'm like, was that a joke grenade? Yeah. Did that just go <laughs> off? You go to the Outback Public House. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> now, now I think we're going to make offensive merch. Right, yeah. <laughs> Your shamrocks are shaped like Australia. Yeah. It's just right, right in there. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, that's, that's pretty, what is it, uh, St. Jackalope's Day or something? You know? yeah. like, what are we celebrating? I don't know. We're just going to get drunk and fight people. It is what it is. <laughs> so we chose the jackalope. Um so yeah, here in in closing, I believe for this story, I believe that she maybe she isn't faking. She she's it, embellishing it to a point. I maybe believe, yeah, you know, or isn't trying hard enough to just like talk around it. Yeah, because I don't I don't believe she's locked into it. No, because the way the way human to me the way human speech works, I hate to say it, is when you're around people enough and you do stuff, you pick up. Sometimes you pick up their mannerisms, but you pick up. Uh, some of the connotations they use, some of the accents they use, some of the different words that you don't normally use that way. You know, it, like no worries never used to be a thing. People started saying it. Yeah. You're around people that say, oh, no worries. Oh, no worries. Then it becomes, er, er, remember, it is what it is. That that started somewhere. Now, right. first off, that guy needs to be punched in the face. You know, you, but, you, you say it a lot. So can I, I, I say it all can the time. I, can I punch yeah. you in the face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the same, my dad, when he would go back home where he grew up uh, and they have a slight Southern accent. Yeah. Even if we'd be would there for it, a weekend. Come out? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And you're just when you're around that, you know, you you don't um <laughs> and we'll go to the next story, but so that reminds me we're leaving uh Florida one time. We're coming home. My daughter is young. My daughter's still in a car seat, you know, but she talks. Uh she's I don't know, three, maybe four. And um we pull through a place to get drinks, all right? And we're like, we're well, gonna grab a couple drinks or this or that. And so my wife, whenever she orders something, she always orders light ice. That's what she orders. So when we pull around. The girl repeats it, and she goes, and that's one Coke, light eyes, like that. Light eyes. From the back seat, as I pull up to the window, okay, the lady's reaching out. She's reaching out the window, and she goes, that's the one with the light eyes. My daughter from the back seat, light eyes. That's light <laughs> eyes, like that. And I'm like, no, she nailed it. I'm trying not to laugh. Yeah. I'm literally like, because I'm stone-faced, and I'm taking the drinks. The, my whole family's cracking up. I don't think she heard, because it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't, she wasn't being disrespectful. She heard something she yeah, wasn't she used was, to. She was just repeating, and it. she just picked it up. Yeah. So, and it, unfortunately, when when you're a kid, that's what you do. That's why you know most kids say their first cuss word because they hung around with Uncle Damon. It right. is what it is. Juice box. Well, uh, yeah, like football. You know, around football. But uh, but no, I I do feel like she could. Um, oh, I won't football say words easily. are swears. Yeah. 
Oh, I really oh. macked that. Weird. Yeah. Did you get an out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Stop. Mac, that was when your laughter is on a time release, I feel that is the best time. Yeah. <laughs> I really enjoy that. Yeah, because now it has to leave a room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's a there's a hesitation. I love it. Yeah, right. You can't even look up at him anymore. Yeah. Like, you, you could at least look up at him and go, huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you can't do that anymore. What's weird though is every time I say, huh? no, that wasn't funny. What was funny is when you did a voice or you or something was said about me, then it's hysterical. But it's like, oh, I think I just said the funniest thing ever. And crickets. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you'd think you'd be used to that, by now. Right. Name. So uh, so story number two. Okay. This headline had me cracking up. Story number two. Millennial wins lottery the day after parents kick him out for being a bum. Buys the house next door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so Los Angeles, California, Brent Richmond, 24, was busy playing Fortnite on Saturday night when he's interrupted by his dad, Ted. Ooh, Ted's in the story. Oh, great. All right. Ted was sick of his son's shit, and so was his mother, Pam. Brent had been uh, in junior college for five years and was no closer to a degree, to degree than he was two years ago. Ted has been trying to get his son out of the house for a while now. Problem is, oh, this is great. Brent was told he could stay as long as he was going to college. That's why he's in the fifth year. Loophole. <laughs> well, Pam and Ted were no longer happy with the plan of action. Ted told Brent the ultimate words to catch his millennial son's attention. We're getting rid of the Wi-Fi. Brent lost his shit. This is true in anybody's house, okay? And by the way, it's what it says in the story. So I'm reading the story word for word, uh, you know. Um, but this is true in anybody's house. When, if our Wi-Fi goes down, you would think it's end of days. Mm -hmm. You know, it's end of days. <clears throat> it, it, it's it's amazing. And I don't understand why. Yeah, I hear more doors open when the Wi-Fi goes down. <laughs> <laughs> is everybody taking <laughs> a bathroom <laughs> break? <laughs> yeah. what, what is going on? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, is the Wi-Fi down? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. I can see my son and daughter at the same time. Yeah. Oh, Wi-Fi's down. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Then they just start cooking. It's like, right. now it's time to eat. Now it's time to eat. Hopefully it's back up by the time we're done. <laughs> you look at me like, uh... Technology boy. <laughs> we're both in the kitchen. Hey, Dad. That's a sign. You remember remember how you were longing for the day where we both needed you again? We need you. We need you now. <laughs> I need you now. More than words can say. <laughs> it's about the Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he quickly told his buds on Fortnite the situation, and he told them to be strong and play the college card. That's what his buddy said. Hey, remember how you said your parents were going to let you live there if you're in college? Play the I card. was on this guy's side. No. I know. That's what his buddies told him. Okay. So Pam and Ted weren't letting that card be played anymore. They're like, no, that card's not in the deck. Yeah. Okay. Jokers are not wild. Yeah. We are not using that. You know, twos are now deuces again. Yeah. And by the way, to you, deuces. <laughs> we're not reshuffling. Yeah. <laughs> right. What's in your hand is what you have left. <laughs> but they weren't letting it play. And Brent threw a fit about the Wi-Fi and a Fortnite tournament planned for the next day. Ted had it. He told him, pack your shit. Here's $200 and the door. So his dad gave him 200 bucks. Here you go. And get out. And that now paid off. Yeah. Because that kid immediately went and dropped it on the lottery. Yeah. I, I'm sure. Yeah. He had been. But here's the funny thing. You remember I said they're in California. Yeah. $200. I don't even know if that'll pay for a hotel well, room. Well, he probably got to the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how far did your Uber go? Well, I got $200 worth. Uh, I did an Uber. <laughs> I walked four blocks to the Circle K. Yeah. <laughs> I bought a Yoo-Hoo and some Twinkies yeah. and a lottery ticket. Yeah. And with, yeah. The, with the $5 I had left, yeah. I bought a lottery ticket. <laughs> it says Brent took off and grabbed a six-pack of IPA <laughs> and went to his pal Eddie's pad. <laughs> Along with the IPAs, he picked up a quick pick lotto ticket. Oh, and it was a quick pick. It's not it even was, like it was a quickle pickle. Them. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. You can't win on a pickle. He didn't. Come on now. He didn't even pick numbers that yeah. mean something yeah. to him. You hey, know? hey, bro, whatever. <laughs> Drop me five numbers and a money ball. Let's go. You sure you want a quick pick? Man, I got two hundred bucks burning a hole in my pocket. I got IPA and my buddy's house is <laughs> down the street. It's already sweating. It's California. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, this is great. Eddie and Brant got wasted on the IPAs and made TikTok videos. For you had a six pack of IPAs. So yeah. each of you have I'm not, three. I'm not this Ted, and I already want him out of my house. Yeah. <laughs> so you're on Team Ted. Yeah, that, but yeah. There's now two. Team Ted is two Ted Team strong. Ted is on Team Ted. It's two Ted strong. All right, I got you. Uh, it says, early Sunday morning, Brent woke up with a massive hangover and went to turn on the Sunday morning cartoons. <laughs> this guy is a winner from every angle. Yeah. Every angle. But, but the news was still on. 
He went to take a leak. They're, they're very specific in his story. <laughs> yeah. He went to take a leak and heard the lotto numbers. First, how you close know, is that TV and how loud is it? When I'm peeing, I can't hear TV. Well, is it set to Damon? Yeah. <laughs> like the rest of the house can. Turn my cans up. You might be able to hear the rest of the house. It's like, we can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Over your pee. Yeah. Here's the thing. They could have taken the, he went to take a leak out and the sentence does not change. He turned on the news and he heard the lottery numbers. Yeah. Why do we need to know that other part? Oh, well, get, is, is there something coming up that we need to know that he was in the bathroom? Uh, Yeah. This next sentence, I, I, again, I don't know who wrote this, but they have an infatuation with something. Uh, Brent shook off his unit and came back to check his numbers against the Why? Winners. Why do we need this? <laughs> it could just be the news was still on. He heard the numbers. He matched them up. Right. That could have been end of story. Yeah. We're good. Hey, you know what? Your, your story's not colorful enough. Yeah. <laughs> Throw some poopy words in there and talk about the guy taking a leak, huh? <laughs> When's the last time you heard unit in a Pulitzer Prize yeah. winning, <laughs> you know, piece? <laughs> hey, uh, it was hey, probably hey. about the military. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, so, Clark Kent. Yeah. <laughs> Perry White wants you to spice it up a little bit. Get a unit shake in there. Yeah, huh? get, get a unit check. <laughs> so uh, it says, after the first three numbers matched, he began to feel like he was having an out-of-body experience. That might have been the IPAs. Maybe, maybe, or, yeah, maybe just had a really good unit shake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get that first one in the morning, and you're like, oh, man. I, I, I uh, How much did I drink? I appreciate not putting after multiple unit shakes <laughs> and shutting the door, you know? <laughs> it's like... It's, <laughs> It's like, yeah. His buddy's out in the room like, you well, never shut the door when you pee. I, what are I'm, you doing? I'm, I'm worried because you still haven't finished the article. Yeah, I haven't finished the article. Yeah, it's coming. How do you think we celebrated? <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Maybe with this is all foreshadowing. So when the fifth number matched, he had already picked out the color of Ferrari he was going to buy. This guy's an idiot. The sixth number came up and did not match. He was crushed. Not matching all six numbers, he got bummed out and grabbed some cereal and went back to watching cartoons. When Eddie got up, he noticed the ticket on the table and asked Brent how it went. I only got five out of six numbers. <laughs> Guy's an idiot. Now, if I'm Eddie, I'm like, oh, that's too bad. Oh, hey, there's pee again. Eddie literally peed himself. <laughs> so he didn't go in the bathroom. No shakes. All right. So <laughs> he literally peed himself. He goes, you win money if you get five out of six numbers, you idiot. A lot of money. Uh, $627,000 to be exact. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's enough. Okay. So... Oh, Ted and Pam hadn't heard word from their son for two weeks when the house next door was sold. That's sick. Pam, Pam, like any good and nosy neighbor, made some chocolate chip cookies and an excuse to find out who her new neighbor was. After a ring on the doorbell. I told you more brown sugar, Ma. <laughs> Ma, there's no more devil eggs on the road. <laughs> so after a ring on the doorbell, the door opened and there stood her son, Brent. She was taken aback. I bet she was. Uh, Do you know the new neighbors? Yeah. <laughs> Brent, Brent had to have been squatting in this house for the past two weeks and was obviously going to be in trouble if he oh, didn't wait, get out of there. More pee stories? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought he stood, but whatever. It's all good. Um, so then it says, she pled with her son to leave and find somewhere else to go before he got caught. During the conversation. Okay, this seems too odd. During Here, the conversation. Here's what's oh, weird. Pictures. No, here's what's weird. Yeah. It's California, and he only won six hundred thousand dollars. You have to figure what goes to taxes. Oh yeah, he spent all of that money just to buy that house to flip off his parents. Yeah, because he's got to have nothing left. Yeah, well, because you don't have credit to buy that house, so you had to pay cash. Right, you're not, you know. And- oh, you don't think he got a lot of credit in his Fortnite yeah. tournaments? <laughs> I'd like to cash in this staff and this. Yeah. What, what do you want? Well, I'm trying to buy a house. I'm trying yeah. to buy a house. So, what do you give me? What do you, he's in bartering for yeah. stuff? You know how many gold coins? I mean that. <laughs> That's it. They go, we need to see your bank account. Do you know how many gold coins I have? Yeah. Do you have any idea how much I'm worth in gold coins? Do you have any headshots I have? <laughs> Headshot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> That's a lot of money for a, an FU to your parents. Yeah. But it says, during this conversation, the realtor showed up to hand Brent a fresh set of keys and two garage door remotes. Brent thanked the realtor for all their help. Pam and Ted are pissed. <laughs> Pam couldn't believe what she was seeing. Brent explained... What had happened? Pam called Ted and told him to come next door and be ready for a shock. She didn't even set it up on the phone. Like, hey, your son won the lottery, bought the house. Come on over. No, she's going to kill the guy on the front porch when his son opens the door. Yeah. You know, let's see here. Uh, the story was repeated and a small part of the, uh, oh, yeah, and over a half a million dollars also came out is what he told him. Ted was pissed. His lazy ass son won the lottery with the money he gave him after being kicked out to learn a lesson. 
<laughs> Brent informed his dad that unless he was in college, he had he had to leave this house. The vein on his father's forehead popped. So the kid said, unless you're in college, you got to get out of my house. I, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to go get the lawn darts. Uh, you beat me to it. Yeah, I'm going to go get the lawn darts. And I'm going to say, hey, first, let's go play a game in the backyard. Yeah. You know? One last time. Yeah. I'll put 200 bucks on so it. So it says Ted and Pam still have to deal with Brent with plenty of money at his disposal. I don't know if he has plenty of money left. Yeah. He can't. Uh, he got a state-of-the-art audio set up that he would play Fortnite so loud, he would wake his parents up all the way from his house. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was a little way of getting back, for, back at him for kicking them out. Uh, you have to be kidding me. When asked by a local newspaper reporter how the winning lottery has changed him, Brent had to say, now I don't have to go to college and can watch my cartoons in peace. He didn't win that much money. No. And he spent all of it on a house. Yes. And a speaker. <laughs> yeah. A uh, speaker. Yeah. A uh, uh, speaker. A uh, speaker. Yeah. Let's, let's, not a sound system. A uh, speaker. Um, uh, here's the deal. When I read the headline, I didn't know that it was going to be so jam packed with, 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 uh, well, bodily bath- fluids, bathroom breaks, of course, but, uh, but also with the fact that this kid, I mean, not only was he a deadbeat, but like winning money, he was still a deadbeat. Yeah. Because you know what you could do is you could go back to your parents and go, hey, look, I won a lottery. I can do this. How about if I pay you rent right now and I have to get on my feet and do stuff? I have to do this. Yeah, he could have done, done anything. Stayed there for a low, low, low price. Right. Invested. Done yeah. something. Yeah. He literally put all that money in a house just to be like, nee, nee, yeah. nee, nee, nee. and again, he's 24. Now, you yeah. know, the, the old adage, if, if between your twenties and thirties, if you put away five or six grand a year, whatever yeah. it is for that time, you never have to put away anything else. And you're going to have, you're going to be a millionaire when you yeah. hit 55 or whatever. Now we just sound like grumpy old men. <clears throat> right. Shaking but, but, the, but the fact of the matter is, is, is if he did that if, at, at say, say it was 10 grand a year, you're talking about 50 grand of your winnings. That's it. Yeah. So the rest of it, you're, you're paying some rent to your parents and you're trying to get your life going, uh, whatever. You know, maybe become a professional Fortnite player and get sponsored. I have no idea. Right. You know, but to buy the house, like you said, you depleted. You, you, if pretty soon you won't have grocery money, you won't have Wi Fi money. Right. So that's not going to work anyway. You, I, I don't want to be on this kid's side at all, but it'd be <laughs> great if he just was stealing his parents' Wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why they, that's why they can hear the speaker. Because it's, <laughs> The system is so close to their house. Yeah. You know, because sometimes you can hear uh, microphones through a TV too. So it's kind of weird how that happens. <laughs> And that's a little behind the scenes from when we got here, folks. <laughs> you can find us at thatchecksout.net yes. on all the socials. <laughs> that Checks Out with Damon and Ted has been a TCO production. Audio engineering has been provided by Audio High Podcast and Studios. Don't forget to check out our YouTube. Once again, all the socials, That Checks Out, WDT. WDT stands for with Damon and Ted. For Damon, I have been Ted. That Checks Out. Hello. Now. Now. You got it now? I got it. What was it? I don't know. Entirely <laughs> entirely my fault. <laughs> well, I, just yeah, no, I, I, I knew that already. I knew that. I was so, I, yeah. yeah. That was the category we had already placed it in. Is there another category <laughs> of what you fixed? <laughs> totally my fault. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you right now, even if it's my fault, I blame Ted or you. It doesn't matter either. Hey, hey. Hit a button for me real quick. Nice. <laughs>